This is a burial vault right here. This is, of course, what a coffin goes into uh, before burial. I was here about six months ago, seven months ago, and I don't remember this mausoleum being here. So this structure right here is gonna make this cemetery a lot of money. Anyways, that is the SoFi Stadium where the LA Rams play in the background over there. We're gonna ask ourselves a question. Whatever happened to Buckwheat? And of course, a lot of us out there remember the character Buckwheat from the Our Gang shorts. One of the more uh, memorable characters on that program. So that character Buckwheat was played by one William Thomas who was born here in Los Angeles on March 12th, 1931. His father was a janitor, mom, she stayed at home taking care of William. So when he was about three years old, uh, there was an ad in the newspaper. The uh, producers at the Hal Roach Studios were looking for a black kid to play a character that they were going to uh, make for a series of movie shorts. Now, this character was gonna be a little black kid and the character was named Buckwheat after the famous breakfast cereal of the day. So, his mom takes him down to the audition. Now, she doesn't know this at the time, but the producers, they were really looking for a, a little black girl. So she takes William down and there was just something about the way he looked that totally fit the character that they were looking to make. Now, for the first year or two of the Our Gang shorts, Buckwheat was actually dressed up as a girl. And later on during the shorts, as a little kid, he would still kind of wear those dresses. And then later on, they would acknowledge that he was actually a little boy. So he's the only kid of that whole entire cast that actually played in all 52 of the Our Gang shorts for uh, MGM. So after it ended in 1944, about this time now, he's about 12 years old. And some, some years would go by before he decided in 1954 to join the United States Army. I guess William decided that at that time was a good time to join, considering that Korea, the Korean War just ended. So he probably peeked his head out of the bushes and he says, is the coast clear? And they said, yep, come on board. And he said, okay. So he would join the United States Army and uh, serve for two years. And in 1956, he would receive an honorable discharge receiving the National Defense Medal and a Medal for Good Conduct. Very good. So after he uh, gets out of the Army, you know, he's uh, thinking to himself, like, you know, what the heck am I going to do now? And later on in an interview, he said, you know, listen, I could have tried my hand in acting again, but he just didn't want to bother with the hassle of going to auditions, being told no, and, you know, just kind of like the whole rat race of it all. Yeah, so um, he, never, he never tried his hand in acting again, but he did work in the motion picture uh, industry. So for the next 20 years, uh, he was a film lab tech at uh, Technicolor. So he would basically... Uh, process negative film reels and he did that job for the rest of his life and then sadly on October 10th 1980 he was only 49 years old and uh, he died of a heart attack in his apartment and uh, this is his grave right here and I'm glad that somebody placed an American flag for him this is 
Private First Class William Thomas, also known as Buckwheat. Awesome. Love it. A small but uh, nevertheless integral part of uh, movie history. I love it. Rest in peace to William Thomas. Thank you for your service. The world knows him as Buckwheat, but his family and friends, well, they probably call him Buckwheat too. Who knew? Who, who knows? Rest in peace, my, my friend. Thank you for... And, Thank you for entertaining me as a child through the repeated reruns of the Our Gang shorts. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Inglewood, California, on this magnificent day. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. See you on the next video. Peace out.